What's up YouTube, it's another episode of the How To Guy. Today I wanted to look at using DaVinci Resolve and the Planner Tracker to create kind of a campaign to get people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. I'll show you how to do this particular effect in DaVinci Resolve in a few easy steps. Have a look. Are you currently stuck on the motorway? Maybe you should have stayed home and watched the How To Guy. You should subscribe to his channel. This is a public service announcement. You are required by law to subscribe to this channel. Fines may apply. We talk okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's get started doing this little effect of creating propaganda, I guess you could call it. So we drag in our timeline from the media pool. I'm in the edit tab at the bottom. So you can just see this is just a normal clip. It's got a road sign on a motorway with some cars going underneath. First thing you need to do is go into your Fusion tab at the bottom. Click this node on the left, press Shift and Spacebar, and we need to get a Planner Tracker. That's the one you want at the top. Planner Tracker, double click that and it will add it in. And you'll see we've got a Planner Tracker. So drag this timeline right to the left hand side, otherwise you get problems. Track is fine for the operation mode. We're going to do hybrid point area for the tracker type, perspective for the motion type. And let's zoom out. Now all we need to do is draw our points onto the sign in order to track it. So we're going to superimpose our video. The next thing to do is just to click this play button, which will play it right to the end and track the points. And I'm not going to let you guys sit through this, so let me fast forward to the end of the tracking. Okay, so now we have all the data points, as you can see. All these little white dots indicate that those frames have been tracked and we can move to the beginning again. And now we need to go to our media library at the top. You can see there's effects, media pool. We want to use the media pool. Drag your clip that you'd like to use to superimpose on top of this road sign. And then you'll notice there's a little gray box. You need to right click that gray box, drag it down, drop it in the middle, and you'll see there's a corner pin option. Choose corner pin and then Choose the planner tracker again, go to the top and make sure corner pin is selected. It would have been on track, make sure corner pin is selected. Then you need to simply go, make sure your image is superimposed on top of that road sign. That looks pretty good, the perspective is good. And then we're going to go to step two, which is adding our logo for the propaganda above the road sign. So what we're going to do is simply right click this planner tracker, control space bar, and put in another planner tracker. So I'm gonna add that in. Choose this one, drag your timeline to the beginning, and then we're gonna simply mark off a few points. Okay, so now we have our clip. This particular item should be hybrid point area and perspective again, and then you wanna click this track to end button yet again and I won't let you sit through this either. Okay so we've just gotten all our points and we've got some really good data. Drag it right to the beginning, go to your media pool at the top and choose your logo, drag it in once again, go to your little grey box, right click, drag it in, drop it and choose corner pin. Once again choose planner tracker, go to the top and choose corner pin. Now we have our logo that we are going to try and create our propaganda on the motorway. So there we go, that sort of gives a good perspective. I think it's big enough. You might notice a little bit of waviness when this image actually plays back and I think that's because it's planner tracker is actually quite a difficult thing when you've got things moving in perspective in your image so it doesn't always work 100% but let's see how it comes out. So if we go back to our play now and we want to add sounding because as you'll know there's no sound and I do have like a call to action kind of thing playing in the background. So all you need to do is select the original clip. Notice there's a little music. Drag that below. Remember, sound goes south and all your video stuff goes north. So south of this line would be your sound and anything north would be your video. So at this point, we'll just make this a bit louder. And there is no better channels on YouTube. Well, that's not really true. But still, you should subscribe to the How To Guy. 
So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Try it for yourself. If you did enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it and see you again next time.